Hey, everybody. Welcome to another fun edition of Deborah Cobalt Live. And you were just watching Lauren Rashep, right? Rashep, close enough. <laughs> I love how you're doing that. Um, you are the author of Lauren Living Healthy. And you do all sorts of things. And this hour, you are in studio to highlight some products that you think will make us beautiful from the inside out to talk about how we can do that. Lauren was talking about four steps that we really should follow if we want to look beautiful, right, from the inside out. Absolutely. Because if you're starting from the outside in, it's just you're just sort of putting on a mask, right? You've got to do it Absolutely. from the whole inside. Absolutely. So, and specifically, your gut. Right. Your gut. But what were you doing in that video? You were in, you were in your yes. kitchen. I've been yes. in your kitchen. Exactly. So um, part of looking beautiful from the inside out is to really change your diet. And this week, one of the major culprits of skin aging is something called advanced glycation end products. And those are products that are created by excess sugar consumption, which is the number one cause of aging skin. You know, sugar is confusing yes. because we all know what sugar is if you're eating, you know, your Cocoa Puffs. Yeah. But where is hidden, where is sugar hidden that yes. you might not know where yes. it is? Um, in most canned foods, in jarred foods, most processed foods. So if I buy garbanzo beans in a can? No, I don't think you'll find them there. Okay. But in your ketchups, you'll find hidden sugars and a lot of sauces that are packaged. Salad dressings are huge culprits. So it's really best. I teach people how to make things from scratch. Right now I'm doing a lot of training of chefs. That's kind of where my practice is moved into rather than me making the food. But I'm still doing my cut the crack cleanse. And that's what I'm doing in this video. Cut the crack. And the yes. crack essentially is the sugar. Is the sugar. And it does operate in the same part of the brain center as cocaine does. And it is equally as addictive. How do you get off it, yeah, though? Because once yes. you're on it, you know, a friend of mine, I just saw her, and she's, she's actually also a television personality. Mm -hmm. She looked fantastic. I said, oh, my gosh, what are you doing? She goes, I cut out the sugar. Mm -hmm. And again, to me, that just means a candy bar. It's just very, right. it's very yes. tough. Like, yes. So you've got sugar in your breads, right? right? Well, you've got sugar everywhere. And also, people talk to me, one of the big confusing foods is fruit. Yes. And how to best consume fruit. So fruit is sugar, but my feeling about fruit is that Eat your fruit and skip your candies. Um, and well, because then, it's natural fruit. It is natural fruit. It still is fruit. It still can accelerate blood sugar. And there's ways to hack that by just adding a little bit of fat or protein with the consumption of sugar. And then you slow down the rate at which the sugar enters your bloodstream and spikes your blood sugar and creates those nasty end products I was talking about. Yeah, and then what happens is it, be, it does become addictive, and yes. then you just want to continue eating. Nonstop. You don't yeah. just stop. You know, people yeah. talk about dieting, but that's hard to do if you've got an addiction going and you want to continue to eat something yeah. because it's got the sugar and it makes you want more of the cocaine, if you will. Right, right. right. So exactly. again, how would you go into someone's home? I know that you, you're a consultant and yes. you're paid to do this by people. Mm -hmm. You go in and what do you do? You just show up and look into their pantries and <laughs> yes. refrigerators. And I'm very invasive. It's awful. The, kid, yeah, I would the be kids horrified. in the family absolutely hate my guts. But yeah. So what I, what I do is I first meet with a family and try to get their buy-in because it really starts with the parents and the parents with their jars of candy all over what the place. What if the parents eat very differently? I have a really, I have a very difficult time. There's nothing you could do in my home to change the way John eats. It just wouldn't happen. Yes. He wouldn't have any of it. He's a big carb guy. I don't know how he's going to live another 50 years, mm -hmm. but whatever. Mm -hmm. Have at it. There's nothing you could do to get a vegetable in him or even a piece of fruit. Right. Um, what do you do when you're someone who really enjoys eating healthy, right? but the person you're sharing your space with uh, has no interest? Has no interest, And right. the kids generally, though, they'll, they'll take a cue and they'll go healthier. Right. But that's it's, hard to do. It is really hard to do. You know? It is. It's difficult to do, but I think a really great way to do it is to start at the farmer's market and take Don't that. Don't we have video yeah. of her, like, roaming through the yeah, market? Yeah, yeah. I do farmer's market tours on some Sundays with clients. Wait, so you, like, take people into yes. the farm? Is that yeah. a farmer's market video? Yeah. I take my clients through or the chefs that I'm training and introduce them to my favorite farmers that are truly organic. And you and I go to the same farmer's we market, do. right? We do. Um, in West L.A. Absolutely. and Brentwood, if anybody is visiting. It's a great farmer's market. I get my, all my earrings there, too. <laughs> yes, exactly. I think I have those earrings. <laughs> did you get no, those? these I did not get okay. from Wanda. Okay. Wanda yeah. is, is Wanda Design. Wanda. Yeah, yes. You know Wanda? Yes, I've seen Wanda. Oh, she's one. I, I go there and I buy like yeah. 10 of the same ones. But wait a minute, here you are at the yeah. farmer's market. Yes. What are you yeah. doing? I'm here talking about medicinal mushrooms. Um, and they're medicinal mushrooms? Yes, yeah. so and not the kind that you lose meat on. These are called cordyceps. But these are the kind of mushrooms that actually protect you from getting cancer. And what are they called? 
um, the cordyceps. And the easiest way to prepare rice them mushrooms. is take so you your can add raw that butter into from organic dairy pastures you, when you add, add them with other mushrooms, they actually do. And a little olive oil, saute them. And yeah. can you buy them at any market if you don't have a reliable farmer's market near you? Farmer's markets are mm, popping up everywhere, yes, I have to are. say, particularly where we live, you yes. know. But if you're somewhere yeah. where it's freezing, mm -hmm. that's going to be tough to do. Yes, right? absolutely. So... What are you we drinking there? Probably something green. I know. I'm sorry. I'm having my green juice. My throat's a little dry. I apologize. But okay. these, this is how you get in your greens. If you have a picky eater at home, just juice for them. You can get it, six servings of vegetables in one six-ounce cup of juice. Okay. So, we once, <laughs> yeah, so we once you... emptied the Coke out of John's can and put in <laughs> prune juice. I it's true. It. I love it. And we thought, well, maybe he won't notice. But the entire thing just went out into the table. He's like, That's hysterical. No. He... No, but anyway, so go ahead. Yes, that's hysterical. So, um, so listen, it's really hard to retrain someone who's already had a lifetime of habits, right, of eating habits. So let's talk about those people, you're right, who really want to just yeah. change over. Right. And you like, you said you actually really have this thing going where you're working on people's gut yes. to clear out their yes. gut. In other words, to move the shit. Yes. So how it typically works is I go into the home where or the family comes to me or the individual. And I look at all their blood work. I look at things like stool sample. Poop is a huge factor. I want to see the health of the gut. And typically, if the gut is unhealthy, so is the person. And what's unhealthy in the gut? What would, what would you find in the stool sample? Um, bacteria that don't belong there, um, insufficient amounts of certain healthy bacteria that feed brain, that feed skin, that feed immune system. So you can see those. And there's a great, great company that's actually doing a, cons a direct-to-consumer poop test now. It's called Viome. And I'm very excited by that. What's the name of that? And Biome. So you can just send in your poop to them you can and then send in your you'll poop. get your report back? <clears throat> yes. So it doesn't even have to go to the doctor. You can just get your own poop report. Exactly. This you is fascinating. Get, you can get your own poop. And what should people be looking for in their poop report? Well, they'll see because they'll give a readout of all the foods that are highly allergic to that person, or else they'll tell you about different parasites that you may or may not have. Um, it'll tell you of the complexion of the gut flora, what probiotics to take, what foods might be best to support. Oh, this is a great thing <clears throat> to invest in. Yeah. So, you know, some people, I'm one of them, I don't really like to go to the doctor and then, you know, you have to <laughs> you have to give a sample at right. a certain time and then rush it over to it's the awful. doctor's it's office. It, it's a tough thing to do, I have to <clears throat> tell you. So now if you could do it on your own and yes. on your own time, yes. then... That's a lot more doable. Yeah, makes it much easier. Mm, so okay. looking at that, also looking at blood work. I love to look at people's blood work. I like to look at their thyroid, their hormone output, particularly for women as we get to a certain age, going through, we're, we're going to talk about premenopause, perimenopause, menopause. When our hormones change, our gut changes. So we have to support our gut to really balance the rest of our what body. What about cortisol? Talk to me about that, because oh, that, when you say when people's hormones change, mm -hmm. I always notice, you know, in women as they're getting older, their guts are just bigger. Mm -hmm. Is it because it's their muscle tone or is it because mm -hmm. the fats are, st are, you know, stored there? What's yeah. going on? It's all hormonal. Yeah. So what happens when the hormones start to shift as we age, we end up losing estrogen. We end up losing progesterone and losing testosterone. And basically, we end up actually you know, turning into men and men turn into women if you look really down the pipeline. And oh, men, oh, interesting. women get a little more aggressive as they get over, and then the men get very docile because they lose all their testosterone. So it's a really good idea to make sure that those hormones are balanced. <laughs> and you can balance them with food. There's also, again, bioidentical hormones is another thing that I look at and then I will refer out. So I'm kind of a clearinghouse for health. I will line up other doctors that when I see a deficiency in another area in blood work, and say, let's check this out. Let's get the testosterone fixed. Let's get your estrogen fixed. I see excess cortisol production. Let's do another test. I see problems with the gut. I see heavy metals. That's a huge thing I'm seeing in clients. How are we getting heavy metals heavy in metals. our gut? It is pervasive. So heavy is metals. Is it in our foods? Is it in it's our... It's in our food supply. Also, do you love fish? Because I love fish. I, I love like fish. I don't love fish. Okay. I have to force myself okay, to well, eat fish. Okay, well, that's actually, believe it or not, there are doctors right now, you know, integrative doctors that say, do not consume fish. Why? Unless mercury? it's wild caught. Yes. The mercury, cons you know, the mercury consumption for people that are big fish eaters, pescatarians, or people that just love fish as their main source of protein, will actually have very elevated... I am a sushi lover. I had massive levels of mercury. And what happens with that? Guess what? Brain fog. You cannot form a sentence. It's awful, awful, awful. Joint pain, hey, arthritis. How do you know where your fish is caught? Because I don't necessarily believe it. 
and another thing we're going to get to, let's not forget, yes. is organic. Yes. Um, but we'll get back to that yes. because organic isn't necessarily organic. organic. It's true. Um, it's unfortunate. Let's go back to the fish. Yes. Because, okay, remember when um, there was that huge issue in... Um, Fukushima? Uh, yes. Yes. In Japan. Yes. It didn't just dissolve. Oh, no, it did All of not. that went into the sea. Into the Pacific, all the way up to the Alaskan border, yes. There's no doubt. Yeah. And people are fishing, and it's still there. It's still in there. It, it doesn't is. just dissipate. Yes. It just becomes part of the, yes. of the ecosystem. You're right. And that's and what that's we're ingesting. And that's not talked about. And yeah. we are ingesting yeah. that. And who knows who's putting what in the oceans that we just don't Absolutely. know about. Absolutely. There's so much that is not regulated yes. from other countries and ours. Yeah. Um, I'm often very suspect of, of fish. Absolutely. But if you love fish, where should you be getting your fish from? What should you look for on the package? Okay. Well, wild or caught, in the fish yeah. market. So wild caught to begin with. Mm -hmm. And again, I like to buy my fish from the farmer's market. But again, there still will be trace amounts of chemicals. And, and metals in all of our fish. The smaller the fish, the better. Is there a particular uh, region that the fish should be coming from? Alaska. 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 Alaskan Alaska. fish. Yes. Also, there's salmon um, that is caught in Colorado, um, the coho salmon, but it's really dry and flat and, not, and kind of flaky and not tender and moist. So I love Alaskan. Um, I try to eat it a couple days a week because the nutritional benefits from it are really almost outweigh the amount, you know, the trace amounts. The omega threes. Yes, the omega threes, and what do those do? Everything from skin health, glowing skin, vibrant brain, the DHA, which we need for our brains, our aging brain. All we all need it. Kids need it too. How else can you get that though? The omega. You can just you can take a supplement. You can take a supplement. Yes, but you have to make sure. And again, you can contact me. I'll give you my list of supplements that I like that have been third party tested for what for mercury. So you really need to make sure that they're molecularly distilled and um, that they're from a wild-caught source. Actually, while we're on it, give me a couple of the supplements that are must, that are a must-do, that you a must, must do. Have. Okay, so this is hard. So an another test that I actually insist that my clients do now because I've been practicing as a nutritionist for 20 years. It's my 20th year in business. And might I say... Three generations, yes, right? I yes. mean, this is really, it's not something that you just became interested in the past five Correct. or ten years. Yes. Your mom practices yes, and yeah. practices. Yes. And, and grandma. My, my grandmother was one of the first yoga teachers in the United States. Yeah, that's really cool. Yes. That's really neat. We, so were, we is... were boo Jews growing up. So boo Jews. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. <laughs> really cool. But, um, <laughs> you know, you're asking me about supplements. What are the must-have supplements? Omega-3. So, mm-hmm. Omega-3, I always say yes to. For a while, I said no. Last couple of years, I was not certain about that because I saw heavy metals in some of my favorite brands. So I then retracted my everyone must have omega-3 to let's look at your fatty acid profile. Let's take that test. Take the test. Let's see what fish, what oils that you're missing because it could be that you're missing um, omega-6, or omega-3, or DH. There's so many different You know what's variables. interesting? The, this is the kind of panel that the doctor doesn't do if yes. you just go for your no, yearly checkup. they do not. Every year when I go for a checkup, they're like, oh, you're fine. But I'm like, but yes. I don't quite feel right. right. Something's wrong. No, your panel's fine. But really, that's just like a surface panel. Yes, it's a surface y panel. You know, it's like yeah. seeing that there's something wrong in your skin, yeah. but really it's, it goes it's further, yeah. it's skin deep. Yes. You know. And it, what's really also very frustrating is that, yes, not only are the panels incomplete, for instance, for a thyroid panel, they'll never even do your antibodies. So to see if you have secondary infections like Hashimoto's. So I really like to have tests done by functional medicine doctors or practitioners to make sure you get a full, thorough panel. So when you go to that doctor, you say, hi, I'd like this type of blood work done. What yes. is that called? Yes. So there's many panels to have. So when someone comes to see me, if they, like you say, I'm not feeling well. Mm -hmm. um, what's going on? Well, I'm really having a lot of, you know, I'm... Joint pain. Let's say for jo joint okay. pain. I'm having a lot of joint pain. My, let me look at your blood work. I say on the blood work, there's nothing on the basic panel, which is called a CBC panel. So let's go look at some inflammation markers. So then I would order some more inflammation marker panels and also your essential fatty acid panel and a gut panel. But now you can order your gut panel yourself for a, literally a fraction of the price. And that's and then, not the blood. That's in your poop. That's in your poop. you got to take a little, unfortunately, you got to take a little scoop of your poop. You just put it in and you mail it right to them. And, Such a you know, lovely it, way to spend an evening. So lovely. Yeah, charming, romantic. Um, so, <laughs> you know, 
And then it could be, I suppose. <laughs> God. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. Never, but, uh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> so, you know, and then you would get a more specific panel for joint pain. And then I'd see, oh my goodness, you have omega 3 fatty acid deficiency. We've got to get you on omegas. You need glucosamine and chondroitin. That's for joints for sure. That's right. one of the major things for joints. Um, turmeric. Um, like, I think, what is that? I think turmeric is my be all end all right well, now. What is I that? Think, what is that? Tell me so, what that turmeric is. is an Indian root and it's yellow. And if, listen, it's part of my cleanse that I do every week. And by the way, but what do you do with it? I do everything with it. So I will take, I do turmeric lattes, turmeric morning shots. Oh, could you imagine, Kaylee, this this is like amazing. Yeah. Turmeric. Yes. We're going to go to her house. Yes. She lives near us. And yes. I want a turmeric latte. Absolutely. The that best. It just sounds. It's so delicious. It's good. so delicious. So if you do the cleanse in the morning, it's the turmeric shot. So I take a chunk of turmeric. It's a root about an inch big. A chunk yeah, I know, of ginger. I know what it is. Yes. But, uh, and I blend it. And hmm. I juice it. And then I make the lattes. I make my own turmeric paste. I mean, it's very. It's it can be a little bit labor intensive, but you can also throw it in a bullet. Yeah, I mean, this, you're somebody it. who just organically, I, if you will, yeah, does this. It's just, it's, I'm someone it's who would have to. Be, it's not second nature mm-hmm, for it me. Is. I have to be like, whoa, wait a minute, what? I have to go get the turmeric. Did, where should yes. people be shopping? Can yes. they find this at their regular you can, old grocery well, store? Well, you can or? get turmeric root really anywhere right now, any organic market. I prefer Erewhon, and I prefer the co-op. And um, Whole Foods is okay, too. Um, and it's hard to find these roots at the farmer's market. Um, I, you typically have to get them from a grocer. And um, they're in, in Indian grocer as well. You can Most get all people, they're all though. Indian herbs and spices. You know, where we live, we have the small little markets yes. in Los Angeles. Yeah. We know that, and we have... Um, some terrific places to shop. Yes. But around the country, most people are going to the larger supermarkets. Yes. And I do too. And they're going to what the, the Costco's and the Sam's Clubs. They're that. going to Walmart to buy their food. Um, what do you do if that's where you're shopping? Is there yeah. anything you can look out for to know that you at least made an effort to make to get something healthier? Yeah. Um, so, you know, that brings up a bigger question. So really what's going on with our food supply? So, you know, without kind of tackling that whole thing, but what you can do if you don't have access to these markets yeah. and, and I'm not trying to push supplements, but you have to supplement that. No, you because do. Because these are the nutrients that you're not going to get in your food supply. Because when you talked about organics, what's missing in our soil right now are some of these very nutrient dense qualities like silica, zinc. Um, and all these mi- and all these micro trace minerals, it's not even in our soil anymore. So we're not getting those minerals. So to take a good multivitamin that has a mineral complex is always just a kind of a a great kind of what blanket. What multivitamin do you endorse? What do I, you like? The only one I like, and again, um, I do sell it, but so I'm not. The only reason I do sell it is because it's because it, you believe in it. I believe in it. Yeah, you know you're how not much somebody who's just I've peddling done. stuff. Yes. you you are living proof of yeah. what's. I mean, I don't know if you can see her skin, but your skin is glowing. Thank you. And you said you had no makeup on, no yes. face, no makeup face on. makeup. That's incredible. Yeah. So yeah. clearly what you're doing from the inside right. out is Right. I just working. want to be authentic I mean, it's about really it. really glowing. Right. Um, so, okay, you. so tell me about yeah. that vitamin that so, you endorse. So the vitamin is called Pure Encapsulations. Um, if you get it from uh, through me, I'll give you a discount. Pure um, Encapsulations? Pure Encapsulations. Um, and you can contact me on my website or wherever is you need to. Is it a large to. pill? Can you chew it? No, you can't chew it. But it's just, you just swallow it. It's in a veggie cap. It's no big deal. It's not a hard Mm-hmm. It's not a hard pill. And that has a lot of the stuff that you say we really need. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, with regard to um, turmeric, um, uh, again, all you have to do is go buy t- organic turmeric spice. Take a half a teaspoon and put a little black pepper in it. Put it in your little teeny blender with a little cup of coconut water and blend it. The pepper contains something called berberin, which is the active agent to help you absorb the turmeric. So for joint pain, inflammation, skin irritation, I'm, it's it's miraculous. I told you that I had some arthritis. I have a couple clients that have arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, which is in the autoimmune family, and they've done ro- wonders with these high doses of the turmeric. And that kind of, um, you know, the arthritis, especially rheumatoid arthritis, is that Awful. brought on primarily by stress? I mean, how does one get that? Oh, my goodness. It's such, that's, again, is rheumat- that a genetic thing? Or? So, so what I'm seeing in my practice right now is a lot of secondary autoimmune conditions, maybe starting with the thyroid, maybe starting with a sluggish thyroid that turns into Hashimoto's, and the Hashimoto's goes untreated, and the antibodies get elevated. And when they get elevated, all of a sudden you start to feel aches and pains and joint pain, and then comes MS and lupus and RA and, you know, just cascading. Or the cause of all this, again, is 
what is in our environment and what we're putting on our skin, which is why I also want to show you a little bit about some of these natural products and what we're putting in our bodies. I mean, we can only control what we can control. So the more we can start to incorporate just some of these small little tricks into your daily diet, and if you don't live by a place, you got to take a supplement. You okay. Just End of story. Organic. Let's talk about that quickly. Yeah. Then we'll get to the products. Okay, sure. Because I was reading today, in fact, because I was, you know, doing some research on you. And my husband even said, you know, organic is not all that people think it is. If they're just running around buying organic, then there's actually natural pesticides that are in the organic. Please explain that to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think you're doing good. Yeah. So so the be all end all of farming is called something called biodynamic mm -hmm. and sustainable farming. So basically nothing that goes into the farm, leaves the farm, nothing that leaves the farm goes into the, into the livestock or into any of the vegetable gardens. So it's truly, they're working with manure, bugs, marigold flowers, everything that is of the soil. But that's a good thing, of, isn't it? That's amazing. Yeah, I was going to say, wait a minute, is okay, that bad? Or so good? That's so check thing. this out. So I was doing a farmer's market tour last week, and I take one of my clients to the egg guy, who's biodynamic. I love this farm. They're great. Wait, I, is this the farmer's market that we go to? Yes. i got to meet you there. Okay, and, go ahead. And so the eggs were like 16 bucks for a dozen, 15 bucks a dozen. I mean, that's a lot of money for some people to pay, and I get that. Uh, it's a tremendous And that's not necessary. Eggs, yeah. But then, by the same token, someone will walk by a farmer that doesn't have the organic sign and say, are you organic? No, then I'm not going to shop with you. Well, that's not the question to ask. The question that they ask is, what are your growing practices? What are you using to feed your chickens? What are you f using to feed your cows? What are you using for your produce? What kind of sprays are you using on your apples? Those are the questions to ask. Because at the organic farms, some of them are using all sorts of allergens. Meaning, let's say you come to me and say, you know what? I think I'm celiac or I'm gluten intolerant. So I have to take could you... Could be coming from your eggs. Yeah, could be coming from your because eggs. Because the chicken was fed... Yes, corn, soy, wheat, barley, all this stuff. What this alone is going to give you anxiety. What if you have seasonal allergies and they're feeding hay? But how in God's name do you know, know. when you go to the grocery store? Well, in the grocery who, store, you know feeding, not, Yeah. The grocery store, you, you know, just again, in the grocery store, it's always best to buy organic. That's your safest bet there. But, but again, you're right. You're right. But so... I f the FDA says that at least 90% of your ingredients have to be organic to be certified organic. So where's that slot? There's a, there's a little bit of wiggle room. And right. in that wiggle room, what happens? We do not, I don't, we don't know. But you're right. What are you feeding but, the animals? Yes, but those are the questions you ask if you have the luxury of shopping at a farmer's market. But are people going to be honest with you? I mean, are they going to say... I think that they are. I think Are they going to really say do. bread and corn and... You know, what should they be feeding yes. a chicken? Yes. Well, really, what should they be feeding a chicken? Uh, well, basically what they should be feeding a chicken is the scraps from the farm. That's what they eat. One of the farmers, um, when he supports the feed, he puts in oyster shells. Oyster shell is a high form of calcium. We get the direct benefit from that. You should see the color of the yolks. They're like literally bright orange. They're amazing. You should turn around the entire FDA. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm telling you, you oh need God. to go to what yes. like, they're going to listen yeah. in this administration. Oh yeah. But you oh really yeah. should. And this one where there's going to be no regulation. You're whatsoever. someone who should be speaking in Washington. And you know what to ask? To really change the way people think. And it's yeah. not complicated. Yeah. Everything you're saying is smart. And it's the way people used to do things yeah, the, before everything right. was industrialized. Right. right. This is not new, this is actually old. Right? It's old. It's the, old. Yes. We're going back going to pre-industrial <laughs> revolution. Just pre-industrial yes. the way it's been done for yes. thousands of years. Yes. Um, but it takes more time, more care, more love to yeah. grow this way and to live this way. So just know that you're going to put in the effort, but the result will be, listen, I want to I want to live longer. I want to see my grandkids. I want to see my kids. You know, I want to be here, but I also don't want to be here with dementia, Alzheimer's, arthritis, uh, and the list goes on. Dementia is right? a little scary, and as you so know, scary. there's so much, so many more so people um, who are being diagnosed with Alzheimer's early onset yes. and dementia. I am convinced it's got something to do with the way food is processed because. You know, pretty much in the last 50, 60 years, that's when the whole food processing industry exploded. Right. Right. right? I've got right. to be right about this. Well, There's look, at, look yeah. at the number of kids who are on the spectrum. Yeah. Spectrum disorders. Yeah. Yeah. My, my daughter's going into occupational therapy, and she's been shadowing, and she said, Mom, there's, there's kids that, you know, so many kids that have issues that ha are on the spectrum that have autism. 
I mean, forget about Asperger. I'm talking about way on the other side. There is definitely correlation. Motor skill, yeah, there definitely is. It's genetically modified organisms. Our bodies don't have the DNA yet to support the digestion of those types of anti-nutrients because they are anti-nutrients. Right. So I'm, I, uh, So don't get what me should people look for? <laughs> Let's say, you know, you want to... You want to eradicate that. You want to at least hold it off. I mean, yes. what should people be doing? Just step away from the process? Or? Yeah, well, I think... Is there something you as, can take? Yes, well, listen, there's a lot of stuff you can take if you eat a bad meal. Um, that's a whole nother... We should talk about that because it's activated charcoal. Do you know about activated charcoal? I do. Char yeah. I, I've been drinking charcoal. Yeah, so charcoal is now a big it, thing in California. They're doing it at the pressed juice place. And what charcoal does is it basically hacks whatever meal you've had. It neutralizes. However, What does if it do you're, to the fats? Does it break that down? Too? I'm not sure about that, but if, for instance, if you go out and you have swordfish, which contains a ton of mercury, right, and you have, or you have a ton of sushi, so you want to go home or, or take with you your activated charcoal pill, and that activated charcoal pill will neutralize the toxins so they don't get then processed into the liver because then it starts to, you know. Proliferate. Boy, if we were to cut you open, you must be very healthy on the I, inside. I hope so. I mean, everything I mean, must I, be very have, happy. We all have our know? issues. Listen, <laughs> I, I just, listen, I came to this through struggling with a ton of health issues. So Really? Oh, God, yes. Like so, what? Oh, what, was your, um, what was your journey? So I was initially um, at Mayo Clinic when I was 17 years old, doubled over in pain from irritable bowel. Nobody at knew. At 17? At 17. Nobody knew really what is irritable bowel. And then it was colitis. Then it was diverticulitis. But... Um, and then they thought I had Crohn's disease. In all reality, what it was is I was not able to tolerate gluten or dairy. But who knew back then, right? So I had to, after leaving, you know, you go to these doctors, you spend all this time, and they tell you everything's fine. You, oh, they wanted to put me on an antidepressant. They said, I think you're just depressed. I said, no, I'm, I'm in pain. So at any rate, so that's... that's your pharmaceutical yes, company yes, for you. exactly. So that would kind of began my journey. My mother getting cancer at a very young age, my father getting cancer. You know, these things inform Plus, our Plus, you're lives. very fair. We talked about yes. that, too. We're going to yes. get to the skin yes. products in yes. a moment. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even just going under the sun, you said oh, once yes. you blistered and burned. Oh, and many, many, many times. Lord. Yeah, I, I'm just a, like a walking, you know poster child for what you can do if you've had excessive sun exposure, how you can reverse the damage. Seriously. Um, wow. Most of it, at least. I've had some things cut you off You mean my how face. you can reverse the damage externally? Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. so what do you do? Yeah. Is some of this yeah. part of your regime? Mm -hmm. It is, it is. So again, all of these products, like my, my thing is beauty from the inside out, right? right. And uh, it's all about sourcing. Everything I do is about sourcing ingredients. So what I thought, like, I'm eating coconut oil, I'm drinking, I'm getting this water. I get this water from this company called Live Water. It's kind of crazy. It's ridiculously expensive, but well worth it. The mineral profile in it is next to none. It's actually hand harvested in a live spring in Central Oregon in the Opal Plains. And it's then carried in an electric truck back to my doorstep. So I use that for all my products. Are you kidding? Mm -mm. So that's what's in wow. all these products. So this water contains um, high amounts of something for the skin called silica. Silica, silica, okay. silica, you know, silica, they put it in yeah. biotin and this, this, there's many supplements for the hair, skin and nails. So I thought, well, gosh, like I need to be drinking this. Also, I had done a mineral profile and here I'm someone who's eating fruits and vegetables on a daily basis, at least maybe four to five cups. And I have a mineral deficiency. This is several years ago. What's going on? I was drinking reverse osmosis water. What? Reverse osmosis water. Are, How do you know if you're drinking reverse because, osmosis because water? Because you put it under your sink. So water is a huge key. Water is a huge key to good skin. I don't think we talked about that earlier. You know, the kind of water, where, what kind of water you're drinking, because we don't in the state of California, I mean, there's fluoride in our water. There's chlorine in our water. So we've got to at least get rid of that. But so many people are using bottled, and bottled is apparently bottles, no better. Oh, well, the if plastics. Not worse, am I right? Oh, the plastics, the, the, the BPAs and plastics are actually linked to neuro, hormone, behavioral, all, disruptor, all disruptors. I mean, shoot me now. I have yeah, to tell you. Yeah, I know. No matter what I do, I no matter of, what I eat. Drink out of glass. Drink out of glass. Drink out of but glass. But you know what? I Sometimes I even question recycled products. Yeah. I really do because the processing that goes through. Oh, the bleaching agents you're yes. saying? Yes. Yeah. And people say, oh, yeah. make sure it's recycled. Drink out of glass. That glass, I think, is recycled, isn't it? Right. Or yeah, just wash in your machine, you know? Yes, of course. Yeah. But they're natural elements, right? They're natural products. These are, you know, chemistry 101. These are things that our body identifies. We know this. 
in an evolutionary profile, we know glass. We know real materials. Yeah, you're right. We don't know fake materials. Yeah. Our bodies don't have the engineering to, to, to dissect that and to healthfully oh. process it, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, yes. I'm hoping that we get away from the entire plastic consumption. Oh, too. I've got plastic bottles in my house. I'm just I know, as guilty. I know. And my family goes and they grab a bottle. Yeah. And so basically yeah. the thing one should do is what? Have a purifier? On Absolutely. Your at least, yeah, at least really, in your sink. It's yeah. very simple and they're very inexpensive now. Just get your water purified, your drinking water. You really need that's like number one. And then carry around a bottle, a yes, glass bottle, yeah, and put your yes, water in there. No, yeah. it can be done. Yeah, it can be done. Okay, so, so water. So, anyway, so back to these products. So, all these products contain that crazy live water from a live spring over thousands of years old. And so, these are your products. These are my okay. products, yeah. So, I design products not to be the be all end all of your skincare because listen I go into people's homes I clear out their cosmetic cabinets their makeup bags and they're not so happy right but if these products can go on top of what you're currently using they actually can neutralize some of the toxins that's another thing we forgot to talk about mm -hmm. um, you will go into someone's room and look at all the makeup in their bag and say, nope, nope, yes. nope. Essentially, you know, people's favorite lipstick I know. has what in it? What were I you know. saying is in people's lipsticks? Lead and arsenic, yes. I mean, could you imagine if you're licking your lips? Right. On average, consuming... how many times a day? A right. Lot. I look, yeah, I lick my lips like 10 or times a day. you're kissing day. someone, right? you're it's, giving them lead poisoning. And you're giving them poisoning. Oh, Okay, yes. that's that's a thought. Yeah, that's a thought. <laughs> Wasn't that in, a, in some kind of you know mm -hmm. cartoon or something? Yeah, you know, yeah. poison lipstick. Poison lipstick. But right? um, so you'll go in and you'll actually look at products yes. and say, get yeah. rid of it. Yes, it's it's poisonous. Yeah, I run all the ingredients through a website, a database, and I wow. see the level of toxicity, and then I remove them. And I though not just so listen. I used to just remove without replacing. Now I give great replacements. There's tons this day and age. There's so many great natural products out in the marketplace. It's super super. And on exciting. your website, you also list. I do. Lauren approved products. Yes, I do. Um, if we have time at the end, I may have you just yes, sort of go through some of them. I do. Um, by the way, my clock seems to be off. Yeah. It's a little weird, but um, so make sure you keep track of my timing. But um, okay. So can I try these products on yeah. you? Yeah. What are they? And lift them up so that okay. the camera can okay. see. Okay. So them. I know they're not Which labeled one? well because they, they'll. So these are three of these are my most popular. That's, those are the ones that I brought. So I ended up trying to really fine tune the product line because a. The, the cost to make them is very expensive because of the products. And these are the tried and true ones. So, so we use th all three? I use all three for different reasons. At the same reasons. time, okay. Um, yes, different times. So you're going to get out of the shower in the morning. And this is actually made in conjunction with a company called Hue Minerals. Lives in Empire, so we can and see And I love this woman and her product line. And it's fulvic acid and 88 trace minerals. What does it do? And what, it, where do we the spray fulvic, it? All over your body. So for me... I, so what I've done with her product is, for me, it's too strong and it's kind of a little stinky, sorry to say. Oh, um, I don't so, want to leave here no, no, smelly. No, 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 no. So I basically <laughs> diluted them with essential oils, okay? So feel, close your eyes, I'll just do your arm and your chest, Thank okay? you. So this, for me, is too strong. My skin is really delicate. I'm one of those people. I don't like people spraying me with any. You don't? I think it smells really good. Oh, do great. You, it's not, wait, you, let me think. Do you feel a tingle? No. Okay. I'm so supposed to. I'm going to take just this off and I'll put a little in my hands and just see, see if you feel. Okay? It smells really good. Now yeah. I feel a little bit of a tingle. Yeah. Can I put a little on your chest? Oh, go ahead. Okay, sorry. On your neck? Oh, good. Instant good. facelift. Yeah. So, so what you'll see with this. Oh, it actually feels really good. Right? You're going to start to feel a little tingle. And yeah, that's I the do here, acid. but I didn't on my arm. So, you know, what we have to do is skin because 70% of the protein in our body is collagen. We want to stimulate the collagen. And to stimulate, you've got to turn over your cells, right? You starting to feel it? I see it. I do feel it's it. It's starting to turn a little pinky and rosy. Oh. So this is for the body. You get out of the shower. And what's the name of this again? It's it's mine. This is this is the head to toe body spray. Hey, okay, just remember that. Yeah. Head to toe, toe body, body spray. Body spray. If you want to, f oh, this is it undiluted. Feels really good. Yes. So this for my skin is too strong. So these and are, you're saying not mine because I have a lot of melanin. Yes. Melanin. Yes. Melan yeah, yes. She has a lot of melanin in her skin. Right. Um, she's got Italian the Italian skin going. Thick, dark skin that doesn't get all muddled and red. And see, no. if I put that on, I turn into a blotch. Okay. Okay. So then, then the other products. So this one, and you can smell too. Um, I make them with different essential oils. What is this? Smell. So that's Elangi Lang sandalwood. I love this. What is it? Yeah, Elangi Lang sandalwood. Sandalwood. Oh, lavender and fresh rose oil. 
So okay, this, where can I put it? Yes, I'm, I'm all over it. This is for your face. So remember you said you don't like sprays on your face? Yeah. There's also, it's can infused. Can I put a little on my face now? Yes. It's infused with almond and vitamin E oil. Oh, it just smells great. Yeah. Oh, you have to spray me? Do you yes, really close your eyes. It's not going to make oh, my don't makeup. Don't okay. Problem. Close. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Deep breath in. <laughs> And what do these oils do too? So we talk about another factor of aging is stress. These are all oils that actually de-stress the wow, skin. Wow, all of a sudden my stress yeah. is gone. Yeah, I know, it's like meditating, right? <laughs> Putting the oils on, right? And then this is, the, this is what I, ca I carry with me when I uh, travel on a plane. How's it feel? I'm waiting. Okay. Um, I don't know, kind of good. It's yeah. almost like it's tightening my skin. Yes, you will feel that. It, you feel... Yeah. yeah, I like the smell yes. too. Yeah, Ooh, well, uh, we should do like before and afters because you do get like a taut feeling in the skin. Oh, put yeah. it on my neck. Yes, okay, let me do that. You might be able to handle the strongest one, but let me do this one on your neck. Yeah, give me the strongest one. I can handle anything. You can? Okay. This is the one that's straight up. If I get blotches yes. tonight, I'll be calling you. Yeah. Okay, so that's the strongest one. So you can, yes, it's see. Didn't look, you put that look, on me look earlier? How it just, yes, it's, look how it's turning a little pinky. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, it's tightening. You just got a neck, yes. It's working perfectly. Is it going to dissolve the gold around my neck? No, I mean, it's you know, not. <laughs> it, is, it, is a, it is an acid product. I like the smell of that, too. Yeah. I really love these. Well, that's what, yes. Yeah. So okay. those are infused. And what's the third one? And the third one is something that I call my airplane My airplane must have. Is this the one that gives you that glow? In, which one gives you that glow on your face? The one I just put on your face. Oh. Let me mm -hmm. have it in. Okay. <laughs> no, I want to just see how I would do it on my okay. own. Shake it, because it's... Shake it. Yes. Kayla's laughing at me. Oh. No, your face glows. Yes, so will yours. And this is it. This, this is what is you use. This is it. If you want that glowing <laughs> skin, ladies, this is, you've got to call Lauren. This yes. is terrific. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I get a lot of orders for this every week. Yeah, this is the kind of yes. thing you just take on the airplane with you. Yeah, I mean, this is what I do. I really, you know, and you asked me what I use for moisturizer, and it's right here. I'm overdoing it. I'm yeah. like, it is, you know. I know, now you're, so again, this is my moisturizer. I talk about sourcing. This is hand sourced. It's raw coconut oil from Thailand. And again, it hasn't been processed. That's no incredible. Hexane raw or, coconut oil yes. from Thailand. Yes. Why and raw coconut is, oil from Thailand? I mean, do it's they just, just have better coconut I, oil? It's what I found. I found a small farm. I like to support the farmers. And I like sustainable practices, and this farm has a sustainable. I do, too. I do and that's the word to look for: sustainable. Mm -hmm, and smell this one. So this Reuse. is this is what I use for my moisturizer, and you, I'll, t I'll show you how little you need. Let me see. Kind of I also use it in the ends of my hair, which are very dry. Can I like put my finger? Of course in? you can. That's for you. Oh, I yeah. love the smell yeah. of this. And where would yes. I put this? That's my Anywhere. moisturizer. I everywhere. That's Your whole what body? I want. Yeah. So when I get out of the shower, what I typically do is I put that on first, then I spray my body to seal it. I love the smell yeah. of this. I love the feel. I know. It doesn't so you could just rub this everywhere, yes, all you over could. your body, you your legs, certainly your could. hands. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yummy? Yeah, I'm going to leave yeah. here. Just beautiful. Yes, exactly. And this is my airplane piece. So the airplane piece, I'll let you smell it. This is just, you know how we have, people are starting to wear masks on the airplane. This is to basically neutralize this. toxins. What, what is this? This is that silica water mixed very simply with a dash of lemon oil, organic lemon oil, and lavender. Okay. So I'll, can I spray the atmosphere? You're going to spray me the yeah, atmosphere you, or this, me? No, this is the atmosphere. This is your Oh, so you space. spray in your spray space. My, yeah, I spray my house with oh. this. So. Oh. So you get on a plane no. and you start spraying that. I Believe do. me, <laughs> some stewardess is going to throw you off. So you got to watch spray. it. So. I do spray. I absolutely do spray. Do it. you seriously do that? I, you bet I do. Oh wow! I go like this real quick. Choo, 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 up, also, Before up anyone's the, even noticing. Yeah. Like, choo, choo, choo. yeah. Up in the air well, vent. Well, why not? Up because in the air vent. The yeah. air vent's terrible. I mean, it's all recycled air. It's awful. And you do know the air in coach is different than the air in first class. They have different air. I heard this. Is that true? I don't know. That's this awful. is what yeah. they say. Whoever they How is. Elitist. I got to find the they's. But yeah. they say, um, yeah. and I tend to fly yeah. coach. Yeah. I don't always go first class. Yeah. It's expensive. Yeah, it is. So, um... That air actually makes me nervous. I tend to get the blanket mm -hmm. when I'm sitting there, if I can find a blanket, and right. I just put it up to my face yeah. because I really spray don't want to get sick. Spray, spray my environment. Space. Yep. Okay. And then spray. what's this one? Oh, they're both the same. They're I both just the coconut. Yeah, I, that was from Misty. I didn't know if Misty were. Oh. Yeah. Misty. Okay. We're I'm going to save this for her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Yummy? Yeah. Yes. So that's it. That's my my stuff is very simple. A couple very of other things. Very simple. Um, collagen. Mm -hmm. You eat collagen. I eat collagen. I read about that one, too, and I, I read about a woman who ate collagen for a month, and she apparently looked phenomenal. Is there really something to this? Where do you go buy collagen to eat? 
Okay, collagen now you can get everywhere. There's a couple of brands that I particularly like. Or you can make your own collagen by simply doing what your grandmother did. Take a bunch of bones from a chicken, take your carcass, throw it in the water with some vegetables, slow cook it overnight. The next morning you're going to have this gelatin-like I'm on telling you, my mom and my yes, grandma did, did right? that. That's what it they skipped did. over me because I would think, yeah. why are you doing why, this? Why are we doing this? You well, know, I'm one of those people it. who went to the process of everything yes, because of course. they that seem was... to be working day and night to do stuff, but yes. there was something to it. Yes. Yeah. And so what you're finding in that gelatin is all the collagen. And the collagen is what we need. It's 70% of the protein in our bodies. We need that to restructure our bones, our skin, our hair, and our, our nails. No, so wait a minute. So you're so, simmering that all night. I'm simmering that. And then what do you do? You're you drink the like broth? A, yeah, I do like a cup. I drink it mostly in the winter. In the summertime, I don't as much. I really rely on the powders and the collagen powders, and I use that in my cleanses. So, what if you're vegan or yes, um, well, if you, pescatarian or Well, if you're you pescatarian, don't... you can use a fish collagen. Okay. And if you're vegan, then you're not going to use collagen because guess what? It's made out of the carcass of either a fish Is or... there any kind of substitute? Um, well, I do have some vegan clients, and what I tell them to do is really load up if they're willing to do it on the C on the algae from a supplement called krill oil or astaxanthin. I've heard about that. Yes. Yeah. And those two, do they do the same? Do they promote collagen? No, but also, you know, really having a high quality diet, making sure you take off the processed foods, making sure you're getting protein. It's hard to do that as a vegan, isn't it? It is. And basically the only way I know to do that is a vegan. And I'm not Are a you vegan. vegan? No. no. I've entertain the thought of yeah. going pescatarian. Mm-hmm. I really have. I, mm-hmm. I don't eat much meat. Mm-hmm. I do like chicken, but lately I've been not really eating it mm-hmm. and thinking a little bit about consuming animal products. Yeah. Um, and it's personal for mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if I were to do that, um, protein basically what, from beans? Is this, yeah. Is your only source? I mean, right. Well, beans, quinoa. Quinoa. Yeah. The, yeah. But Com- isn't that more like a tempa, carb, if you will? You know, I personally, I think quinoa is like a carb. Well, it has nine grams of protein um, mm-hmm. per serving, so it is the highest amount of protein for any kind of a grain. In fact, it's not really a grain; it's a legume. What's a legume? It's a bean. It's a form of a so um, it doesn't process the same way as a grain does. But listen, if you're, I think if you have infl- listen for everyone who everyone's bio individual, right? So regardless of what diet you try, you have to make sure that it's the right thing for your your constitution. Mm-hmm. So if you come to me and you say, Lauren, oh my God, my joint pain is awful. I can barely walk. My knees are swollen and, or my thyroid feels off. Then I'm going to say, you know what? We're going to have a really hard time with a vegan diet. All right. So, so let's so, go through this very okay. briefly. Okay. Joint pain. What's a must do? You have to do what? If you've got joint pain, what does uh, somebody do? For joint pain, um, for internal... And then I'll give you the external. Mm -hmm. So for internal for joint pain, again, fish oil, turmeric, and making sure that the turmeric has black pepper, uh, glucosamine and chondroitin. And again, I'm giving you, I'm almost doing something that's slightly egregious because I'm giving you a blanket, you know. Well, just a takeaway for people. Just a takeaway. A takeaway for people. It's better if they do something. Yes, and try try one of these. What about for memory? What's the absolute must? Oh, my God. For memory. Okay. Fish oil is fantastic for memory. I'm noticing a pattern here. Make Fish it, oil. Yes, I know. Making sure that you have estrogen in your brain still is good for memory. So now the stuff. So, so taking an estrogen? Yeah. So bioidentical hormones have gotten a really bad rap, right? Because they have. They really have. A lot of people won't take them because they're afraid of um, that they say that it um, increases your chances of breast, breast cancer. cancer. Well, again, I've read that. I, yes. You know, and I do read the medical journals. Yeah. I just don't read anything. Right. But, but it's also, but it's neuroprotective. Mm-hmm. So you need to look at your own set. Again, that's why like the 23andMe and some of these genetic tests too are great. So I personally, my genetic testing, I don't run the risk for Alzheimer, but I do for maybe breast cancer. I'm not saying I do. I'm just giving you an example. Right, I understand. So then I'm going to make sure that my estrogen levels are there, that are adequate, but they're not excessive. So the more that I can learn, the more diagnostics we have, the easier it is for us to really be specific about what your protocol should be. So for memory, estrogen, fish oil. Fish oil. Um, Turmeric is great for memory. Bacopa. This is another one of my favorite things. What's it called? Bacopa. Bacopa. It's an Indian herb. B-A-C-O-P-A. Got it right. Yeah. Very nice. Bacopa. Bacopa. Great for memory. Um, I also like all the omegas, like the chia seeds, the hemp seeds, making sure you have the right balance of omegas 3 to omega 6. 
Um, good olive oil, good for the brain. The med- so, like, they looked at all these blue zones. There, This guy, Dan Vutner, you know, about the blue zones. Yeah, these people living, you know, to 100 years old. And they're just, there's one in Loma Linda, California. They're in, in Italy. Um, they're kind of My scattered. Ra- yeah. They're scattered around. Olive the- oil. Yes. Olive oil. Olive, olive oil. I use they olive use, oil They have so, so much. much olive oil in their diet. It's- Wait a minute. You won't believe what else I use olive oil for. I actually, well, <laughs> it's true. I will rub it on the wood in my house. Why because, not? Uh, there you go. And someone said, no, 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 you can't do that. It's a food product. I'm like, why not? Why not? I'm like, it's good for my skin. It's good I, my dried out yes. wood. Why not? I swear to God, I, my wood yes. still looks good outside. I it love It looks that. amazing. And why not? Why I've you- tried every product. It's and the ag- olive oil. And again, can I just like touch on something about the toxicity of wood cleaners? Mm-hmm. So there you go. Right. So what did our grandparents use? They used coconut oil, olive oil, palm oil. That's how they cleaned their wood. They didn't use these toxic wood products that actually keep the pesticides in the home and they linger for up to eight to 10 hours. Um, so physical. So to look great on the outside. Yes. Um, what supplement? What do you what do you say? Pe- the takeaway for people, what should they absolutely be taking? Um, so that for, glowing. Yes. Feeling. From the outside, um, you know, unless you. If you want to buy my products, that will help. But um, to take for a supplement, you're asking me? Supplement and, yeah, some products that you would recommend that, okay. is, a, that is a must. Okay. Um, so really the best way is to hydrate your skin from the inside. So making sure you're drinking your water. But people, And you can purify that very easily yes. from so the tap. Yes. Yeah. So, again, people say, oh, my God, I can never drink 8 to 10 glasses of water. I think that is even excessive. I think you drink 6 glasses of water and you're good to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. When you get up in the morning... What really happens overnight is you end up getting a lot of toxicity that builds up in your tissues. So if you get up in the morning and you take the juice of a lemon into some hot water, that stimulates your system, that gets your bowels going. I do that all the time. Now when I go to restaurants, I actually ask for a big pot of hot water water with a lemon. I do. It stimulates all of our digestive juices. I'm just doing everything right. And vitamin C is a great producer of collagen. So what's in the lemon? It's vitamin C. So that's another great way to... Okay, and you've got four steps that Mm -hmm. we were talking about earlier to healthy living. Yes. To Lauren Mm -hmm. healthy living. Yes. Lauren living healthy. Yes. Um, Give it to me. Okay. So the first thing, I mean, the number one cause of aging and degenerative disease is unfortunately stress, right? And we all have it. This is just the era that we're living in. So finding just simple ways every day you can de-stress, whether it be if you're not a meditator, it doesn't take 20 minutes twice a day in Transcendental. There's different ways to There's meditate, different, yes. as we were talking about. Mm-hmm. Go somewhere outside, or maybe you have a space on the in the inside yeah. that gives you peace. Mm-hmm. I really believe in that. I'm not a pill person at all. Yep, absolutely. I don't, know. I don't think no, you are either. No. You can find it organically. It's yes. anywhere. So. Yes. Absolutely. Stress. stress. So reducing stress. So for some people, it is go, going to, to the beach, taking a beach walk, going to sit outside in their backyard on a swing, in a hammock. Find a space every day, at least 10 minutes, where you can shut down. You said you could show me a way to meditate in one minute. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Everybody um, listen, because this can help with your stress, too. If it's one minute... Anybody could find one minute, even in the bathroom. Right. Right? Right. So my meditation is all based on breath, because if you notice... We don't know how to deep breathe. Mm -hmm. So what does deep breathing do? It oxygenates all of the cells in your body. So that's a big anti-ager. So I'm going to teach you how to do a deep breath. So you're going to take your hand on your lower abdominal, which you can't see. I've got one hand on my lower belly and one hand in between my breastbone right here. I'm going to draw the breath up in a count of four and hold it for four counts and exhale the breath for four counts. Am I breathing through my nose or my mouth? Only through your nose. The lips are sealed. Okay. So uh, here we go. Let's take four counts in. Mouth close through the nose. Hold for four counts. Exhale the breath for four counts, not through the mouth. Nose. Pull the belly back to the spine. Hold the breath out for four counts. I got confused. Yes, now inhale for four counts through the nose. Hold for four counts, lips tight. Exhale for four counts. Release all the breath back to the spine. And one more time, inhale for four counts. Close your eyes just for a second. Holding for four, exhaling for four. Deep, full exhalation all the way down to the base of the spine. Pull the belly back. Empty the whole belly. 
and release. So that was probably 30 seconds, right? Okay, just... You're immediately... Immediately. Trans... Yes. Form somewhere else. You're going right. somewhere else. Because for meditation, mantra, there's mantra meditation, there's breath meditation, there's something called mindfulness where you have to st- sit and watch your breath. Some of those techniques can be difficult unless you're getting a guide. I also teach meditation unless you're getting a guided meditation. But the breathing gets you out of your head because you're focusing on the count, focusing it on the whole. It really works. I know. It just does. I it already just, feel a little more I know. at peace. I know. You know? Yeah, okay, kind of so we only have a few minutes. Yes. So Stress. Stress. De-stressing. Yes. Meditation Meditation. Helps. Okay. What else really helps? Um, I, I, well, it, it's, it's a combination. It's called cut the crap. Cut the crap? So, yeah. Cut How the do crap. we cut the crap? So cut the crap, you know, cut the processed food out of the diet. Limit your consumption of refined white sugar. It really does age you, but it also creates, remember you're talking about the cortisol, an yeah. excess production of adrenaline and cortisol. It stimulates your system. So... It changes your brain cells. So you, you really want to curb that. Maybe to 25 grams or under of sugars a day. But how do you know? Like, where do you find the white sugar? Because people are going and eating, Can, and they're yeah. not really sure. Well, what. you know, if they put it in their coffee, in candy. Um, and look at, look at something that's actually, like, one of the biggest offenders. It's called high fructose corn syrup. It's awful. an awful, awful right? Um, it's, when you see corn syrup in general, yeah, run. Like, yeah, run in the opposite you direction. Agree? Run. 100%. 100%. Yeah. 100%. It's one it's, of the most toxic foods. You're not consuming on. natural All corn GMO, yeah. and it's a huge allergen, and your liver just hates it, and your so do your cells. It just ages you so quickly. Okay, so the number one, try to de-stress. Number okay. two. Cut the crap. Cut the crap. And the crack. And, and the, the crack. Sh- right? <laughs> crap, crack. Yes. And number three. It's called clean the pantry and clean out the house. That's where they need you to come in. Yes. And you, I'm sure you also consult on Skype, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, don't ha- you know, someone could be no. watching this from Missouri yeah. and says, I really need yeah. her. Yeah. Can they I've, Skype yeah, in I've done a, a, Yes. I've done a house tour with many families that live across the country, one in Florida. Yeah. So and, you don't have to yeah. be in Los Angeles. Yes. You can call Lauren and get this yes. done anywhere. And we, we did it all on Skype. We went through every room in the house. We did their, their pantries. We cleaned up. Oh, what I ended up finding were so many rancid fats. A lot of really Where bad. Where is it f- hiding? Um, in the pantry. A no, lot. And of, what products? Oh particular? my God! All the oils people were cooking with. Really? Oh my goodness! Which oils? Yes. Canola, sunflower, grapeseed. All of those oils. So you should are, only cook with which oil? I Olive? like. I like coconut. I like, like coconut. avocado oil. Oh. I like for low heat cooking and finishing. That would be olive. Um, you know. A little bit of ghee is also good, which is a clarified Indian butter. That works well for some dishes, again, on medium, low to medium heat. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on how to cook with different oils. You really should. This yeah. is important stuff. Yes. People can get a hold of this. Yes. And if you yeah. do a simple how-to yes. video, like really simple, mm-hmm. the how-to for idiots, yes. right? I mean, really, you yeah. know, have all those dummy books. Yeah. Do a little dummy yes. video for people. Okay. People need to learn how to do this and make it so simple. That that why should why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't okay, they? Okay, so what's the fourth yes. one? Yes. So last but not least, okay. Once you've cleaned everything out, um, you know, again, the last one. I basically think that if you can find a way in your life, okay. This again, this might go within in the meditation, mm-hmm. and I just to clear out clutter. So clutter is found in the way of many things. Mm-hmm. I believe that all the computer screens need to go off by 10 p.m. Shutting down your Wi-Fi at night. Do not sleep with your Wi-Fi no matter what you do. We're getting all that EMF into our brain chemistry. Our brain chemistry cannot handle it. I have to say something. If okay. you don't believe her, just try it for three days. And see how you feel. How see about how you even sleep? one day? Yes. See and how see you if sleep. you can sleep better. Yes. Clear the clutter. See how you sleep. So it's true. When I go into people's homes, I put in these EMF plugs into the wall. And then I'm, yes, and that actually detracts and it cuts down the EMF exposure in the home because really? we're getting so much in our homes now because we're wired for sound. We have a ring out. We've got, we're just, we've got so much going on in our homes now, all of us. So, so people want to get in touch with you. First yes. of all, they can read about a lot of this yes. and more in your book, Vibrant Skin at Any mm-hmm. Age. I love this picture. And this Thank is just you. so you. Thank it's you. a beautiful, beautiful picture. Thank you. And you also give speeches. Yes, I do a lot of public speaking. A lot of, I'm really big right now in education. Mm-hmm. I just really want to get the word out to people that don't have access to all the things we have access here in, in Southern California. And do you write a blog? People um, can, I do, yes. And where can I they do. find that? On um, your website. On my website, yes. And um, I have a weekly newsletter. 
What is that? How can um, people find it? Uh, so you have to sign up. So go onto my website, which is Lauren at Lauren Living Healthy, and sign up for my newsletter. Lauren at Lauren Living yes. Healthy dot com. Mm-hmm. Right. And we're also launching an e, uh, what's it called? A uh, YouTube network. Mm-hmm. So where I'm going to be doing um, basic demos and education on all these topics. Yeah, pretty one much by like one. the videos that we were showing earlier. Yes, I mean, yeah. I love that one. You know, just yeah. going shopping with you. Yes. At the farmers market. Correct. And looking at what you're putting in to the smoothie for breakfast in yes. your kitchen. People can do this, and they can go along with you and do this. Absolutely, yeah. So you're on a real mission. Yes. You're really yeah, on am. a mission to clean out the gut from the inside out and yes. look beautiful. Yes, absolutely. This is a lot of fun. Yeah. I really yeah. learned a lot on your yeah. products. If people want to purchase your products, also on your website. Yes, they're on the website, too. Okay. Yeah. And All they're right, reasonable, too. I feel even more beautiful <laughs> after talking to you and, and spraying. I feel great. And meditating a little and breathing. <laughs> yes. This has been quite an yes. hour. I'm walking out of here all relaxed. So thank you for coming. <laughs> thank you so much. I hope much. you had a good time. It was so much fun. Yeah, Thanks. thank you. All right. So remember, look up Lauren if you need any other information. Or also, um, you can find it on my website at Uh Thanks, everybody, for being here. And we will see you next week.